I'm now on a busy concourse with Mark McFarlane, Commercial Director for Eurosport. Mark, can I start by asking you what do you believe to be the, the fit between sport and tourism? Yeah, both, both sport and tourism are uh, key passion points in uh, people's day-to-day -day lives. You know, tourism is one thing that people go and experience with families, friends, what have you. Sport is one that also touches people in a day-to-day -day aspect as well. And what we find with sport, that it's been collective, it's universal, it's also a part of topic and debate every day. That combining the two passion points of sport and tourism, you're creating something quite exciting. And uh, especially now when people have that real drive for escapism, where they can combine tourism activities with their sporting passions, you've got quite a powerful prospect here. Indeed. Can you give me some specific examples where Eurosport has actually brought that uh, synergy together for everyone's benefit? Sure. We, we, uh, we work with an array of destinations to, uh, to look at amplifying their involvement in hosting sporting events. Uh, so that could be everything from the top golden ticket events such as the Olympics. You look at Sydney 2000, Salt Lake 2002, how these events hosted those games and that really amplified them on a global scale and opened their doors to the population and encouraging people to come to their destination. How Eurosport can work with them is that working not only with the host destination but with the federations as well to really not look at the event but what we can do around that event. And yes, the event takes part in a city, but then we can showcase the city in its whole and what you can do in the peripheral aspect of the event taking part. And that's the top end events, but there's smaller events as well with niche markets opening up, niche sports events such as surfing, trekking. These are still imperative and a, and a big key aspect to people's passions and drive. And again, we can create a platform for these events and federations to expose themselves to the European market. Okay. Are there any key people here at the World Travel Market that you specifically want to have conversations with or are you generally available for discussions yeah. and business opportunities? Of course, no, actually the, the uh, WTM is imperative to us. Uh, you know, the uh, tourism sector within the Eurosport group is very strong now. And we're actually the number one uh, platform to work with the tourism sector and international media. So it's key that we are here. It gives us a fantastic opportunity to meet with ministers from various destinations globally, importantly, but also actually to give the ministers an opportunity to talk about their country and destination opportunities for 2012, as we bring our own production crew and we get them involved as well, which is important. So uh, it's, it's vital for us to be here, and it goes even to the extent that we're actually even now getting involved from not just being in presence, but being integrated from a content aspect as well, by sponsoring areas such as the sports and tourism section for speakers uh, within the WTM program. I remember congratulating you, or not you, but Eurosport last year for being the first to sponsor the Sports Pavilion. And I congratulate you again for your involvement in the seminar program. I think it's fantastic. Good. I hope that you have a really successful show and I hope that you're back next year. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.